Recently, there's been a lot of talk surrounding the Golden State Warriors aspirations of winning a chip this year with their new roster. Draymond Green recently stated in his latest interview that his objective this season is to basically win a chip for Chris Paul. And now I think that statement alone is wild because I think it's kind of like son Chris Paul. Like bro, you should be winning a chip for yourself. You feel me? You don't got to make it seem like he needs you kind of like I'm like I'm going to do this for, for him. It's, it, that's a conversation for a different day. But yeah, you know, he recently said that in the interview. And then also Mark Spears recently talked about how the Warriors are going to actually start Chris Paul. It's, an, it's it's not official, but like he has heard that they're actually going to start Chris Paul to start off the season. I, I do expect him to start. I think it's like five minute spurts. I don't know that they really want his minutes to be high, but I think they're going to try it. You know, I could be wrong, but that's the gist that I'm getting. Um, this isn't an opinion. This is just what I'm hearing that he he's expected to start. There's a lot of what ifs surrounding this roster just with that acquisition of Chris Paul and then the lack of acquisition because they didn't really address some of the issues that resulted in them being knocked out in the second round such as having a better interior defender for their big so what we're gonna do today is put this new roster to a test on 2k24 we are going to sim through their season and see how far they make it maybe they might just get their chip all right so quickly before we start to sim here is their roster as i said the only acquisition they really did the major acquisition they did this year was chris paul and that was through the jordan portrait aside from that they got dario Sarek and then they got Cole Joe. That's that's okay, right? Like Sarek ain't really doing much. You feel me? He fits their play style in terms of being a big that can space out the floor. But again, he's not that interior presence they needed that can match up against a Jokic, against an AD, against a Joel Embiid. You know, bigs of that nature. So they didn't really address that issue, and we're not gonna fix that today because we're just simply simming through the season. And this is our first simulation video on 2K24. Now I usually wait to the end of the video to say this, but given the fact it's our first simulation video. On 2k24 please go ahead and subscribe to the channel man do that for us man as we continue to have more progress and such please go ahead and do that and turn on that post notification because we're going to drop more simulation videos more rebuilding videos that are going to be super entertaining similar to like the ones we had in 23 all right but that's it that's enough of the talk man we're gonna get straight to it i am gonna sim some key games some games that i would like to consider as key games through simcast so that we can have an opportunity to jump in if need be and those key games off the top of my head would be like the first matchup against the Suns, which is actually the first game of the season, and then the first matchup against the Washington Wizards, and then from there, you know, key games would just be close games and like the playoffs and such. All right, so we're starting with the first game of the season, man. This is the home opener right here. First game of the season, I didn't make any changes to the lineup and such. It's all normal, all as it was at the start of the season. I won't be looking to make any roster changes if I get offered trades that I feel like the Warriors would benefit from. I'll go ahead and accept those. But other than that, I'm not gonna offer anything i'm not gonna sign anybody yeah we're just gonna we're trying to make this as realistic as possible just see what 2k has this roster doing all right and so far they're killing the new look suns they're smoking them and keep in mind the suns got kd bradley bill d book da and then they got you know some some bench players you know new bench players that they had added on like eg bobo and company all right but they they rally back they rally back and me chatting through they rally back and it's looking like we might have a close one it's looking like we might have a close one yep we do we got 110 to 109 with three minutes and 11 seconds left yeah i know what we're gonna do man we're gonna jump right in first simulation video a 2k24 first game right away and y'all see it man we get a jump in scenario through the simcast it's amazing man it's a close one right here you see cp3 right there matched up on debug kd with the turnaround over oh my god what a shot that turnaround over Clay Thompson. He has 12 in the fourth. Y'all heard him. KD has 12 in the fourth. They taking a timeout real quick. The Suns are up by three, 112 to 109. Let's take a look at the box score real quick. My fault, y'all. So we got Steph Curry with 24, Jonathan Kaminga with 21, and then you got CP3 with 15, 4 and 4, A Wiggins with 14, Clay Thompson with 11 points. He's not struggling, just hasn't attempted many shots. Uh, Draymond Green's doing what Draymond Green does. That's pretty good. Look at shout out to Jonathan Kaminga. One thing Draymond Green actually said is that he believes Chris Paul is going to unlock. 
Jonathan Kaminga. He thinks he's going to be able to help him out because he was assuming right there that he would be playing with the bench. But it doesn't seem like CP3 is going to be running with the bench. So, which is going to be interesting to see. And my fault, I forgot to show the Suns box score. Look at KD, 38. And again, he has 12 in the fourth. So, he got 38, 12 in the fourth. D-Book with 24. Bradley Bull with 17. It's a top-heavy squad. So, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Just going the hell out of the ball. I mean, if an agency is, is pretty weak from there. So, all right. Let's get back to it, man. Let's get back to it. Two minutes and 54 seconds left in the first game of the season. Opening night. Warriors and Suns matchup. Again, this is... A, this is I, I don't know if we would call it a rivalry. I know Clay and D-Buck have gone back and forth at times. Um, you know, just from the competitive atmosphere things. But you also have now Chris Paul being on the other side. Um, so, I guess that can add more fuel to the fire. And then, of course, KD... Yeah, CP3 misses that easy mini. Not easy mini, but contested mini. But then you have KD, of course, who used to play for the Warriors. So, yeah, I guess you can. A minor, ri minor rivalry. Damn, he's cooking them, though. 40 points. 40 points on the opening night. He's smoking them. 40 points. D Book is guarding Steph Curry right now. It's like they're running a set for CP3 to get open. I don't know what they're doing right now. Oh, that's a good look. Good shot. That's easy, yeah, that's easy. Good screen, good open look. It's the baby assassin right there. All right, man, a, a minute and 57 seconds left. DeAndre and on Draymond Green. Now this is this is gonna be the this is gonna be the problem right here for the Warriors. Let's see if the Suns can execute off of it. They don't, cause it's, it's DeAndre. And, like that was so weak. If that's not DeAndre, and I don't know who it is. Like that was literally him. You feel me? But this small ball, like, you know, oh, what a fine. Damn. What a fine. All right, so game is top. But yeah, a small ball, it can come back around and bite them because it's, like, it's exactly what happened to them in the second round last year in the playoffs. So, um, but that's a great fine right there. Great finish by Draymond Green. Again, oh, it looks like they was about to go back to DeAndre. And, oh, that's an open look. That's good. Ooh, Bradley Beal misses a huge basket. Clay Thompson bringing up the rock. He hits CP. CP swings it to uh, Steph, and they sing. They send the double team. Excuse me. Clay Thompson misses the go-ahead basket. A minute is left in the game. D book with the rock. Swings it over to Bradley Beal. Oh my God, that's easy. There you go. There you go. There you go. They can go to that every time. You feel me? Like yeah, Draymond Green is an amazing defender, right? He's a DPOY. Like, he's a great defender, but that's not going to happen every day. Damn, and one. Say word. Yo, say word. You know Draymond would have been going crazy right now. What? You know, in real life, he would have been showing so much emotion. Y'all know how that man gets, you know, which I like to see. So, he hits the clutch free throw. They up one with 44 seconds left. Phoenix calls a timeout. They have shied away from going to uh, KD since he scored his 40th point. So, let's see. Look, they got their new coach right there, too, Frank Vogel. A lot of changes that happened this season. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of drifting off from the Warriors talk. But we are going to look at a whole bunch of different scenarios through our sim simulation videos or rebuilding videos because you know it's a new season new 2k a lot of changes came to this nba season so we're going to explore all of that this year let's see who they inbounded to d book bradley bill has the rock booker has it right back oh that's a lot of room yeah that's good that's good yeah i knew that was good that's a lot of room man that's d book you can't give him that room at the midi come on man that's baby kobe right there come on steph curry oh don't don't do that don't do that Draymond Green. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Y'all think Draymond would do something like that in real life? A no look behind the back? That was terrible. In the clutch, no look behind the back when you down one. Let's see. Bradley Bill, is he going to sink both of them? He most likely will. That'll put him up three. They'll still have an opportunity to tie it up. They're going to use their last time out. That's a tough way to give up those two points. That's a discussion I have in the locker room after that. But that's a tough one. But let's see. Gain not over yet. Draymond Green is inbounding. He hits Steph Curry. Are they going to force up a three? Oh, that's good room. That's good. Oh. I know it wasn't a three. It was going to be a deuce. But that was good room. That was a good step back. It looks like Phoenix is going to go ahead and take this W. We're going to see what Golden State comes back uh, with. After these free throw attempts, if they get a basket, then they might still be in it. But if not, it's over. We're going to send from there. So, let's see. Steph Curry, 
step back. I know. Nope, nope. Clay Thompson. A Wiggins. Oh, I thought he had it. All right, so it's looking like that's going to be game. We're going to sim the rest of it. Yep, Phoenix go ahead and, you know, pulls out that W. They pulled it on the clutch. D-Book with some clutch baskets. And then Draymond Green with the unfortunate turnover in the clutch. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But that's a good way to start off the season. You know, you lose a close game. Nobody wants to lose a close game, but at least it was a close game. I'm going to show that, I guess, you know, their lineup was working a little bit. Even though they did go to DA. They went to DA at times. They were trying to exploit that small ball so we might see others paying that out they're offering trades for chris paul which is actually something i heard i had to decline that. that's not worth it and draymond green and wallet but that's something i heard i heard that the, the warriors might actually damn he's cpt's hurt that the warriors might actually plan damn caban only hurt too but the warriors might plan to trade cp3 try to build his trade stock all the way up into the trade deadline and then trade him around that time for the assets that they feel like are going to put them over the hump which is some interior defense which is what i believe it'll bring them back to championship contention so Draymond Green is out 46 weeks they're going through a lot of injuries and you can see the record 7 and 10 to start off oh my god Chris Paul fractured left arm that's nothing Chris Paul is injury prone you know we've seen him get injured various amount of times throughout numerous amount of seasons so you know it, it's I don't, like a lot of y'all like the entire you know NBA fans whatever you want to call us we were shocked at this trade and it wasn't in a good way we just we don't we don't see the fit wow look at this look at this trade offer Chris Chris Middleton and Grayson Allen for A. Wiggins and Gary Payton the second. That's not a bad trade offer, but then, you know, you get more offense with Chris Middleton, I would say, right? Yeah. But, you know, you lose a great wing defender in A. Wiggins. We're going to decline that trade. You know, they're 10 and 14, 10 and 15. They're currently 12 in the conference. That's crazy. That is crazy. Could y'all see this happening to the Warriors in IRL? Comment that down below. Can y'all see this happening to the Warriors in IRL? Them having a terrible start to the season and, um, um, you know being out of the, the top 10 spots in the west all right so we reached our second key game it's the first matchup against the washington wizards jordan Poole and company before we get into that game i quickly want to just look at the standings overall see where the warriors land right now currently 11 and 16 11th in the conference they have plenty of time to turn it around but they're sitting behind teams like the utah jazz san antonio spurs okc and the pelicans the pelicans are going crazy too let's take a look at the averages for the season right now steph curry is doing his thing averaging 20 27 points per game then clay averaging 22 that's dope to have both of them averaging 20 apiece Jonathan Kaminga averaging 14 so it looks like he's stepping up in the absence of Jordan Poole Chris Paul is actually averaging 16 points per game he hasn't started any of the games he's been coming off the bench so 2k has him coming off the bench but he's averaging 16 and 6 so that's pretty good that's pretty good he's actually the third leading scorer on the team pretty good right there he's pretty efficient shooting 50 percent from the three as well too nah he's going crazy so he's actually playing pretty well for them but that's dope but i guess with the time that he's spent out it hasn't been translated into to w's and again that can happen in real life we've seen cp3 miss a great amount of games so that might happen in real life too so but we getting straight to it man the matchup against the washington wizards the first time that they are seeing jordan Poole since the trade and i know this is gonna be a feisty game like this game is gonna go crazy and look they doing that for draymond right there i'm gonna say they doing for draymond right there yo to go up 43 to 17 in the first quarter is crazy they smoking them right there and the Wizards is probably going to be the worst team in the A next season. That's that's probably my prediction. They're probably going to be like the worst team in the A. They'll probably win no more than 20 games if if they even win 20 games. But they're probably going to be the worst team next season. But they get they they smoking the Wizards right now. Uh, the Warriors are smoking the Wizards right now. Excuse me. Currently up by 23 in the fourth. Like this game is a done deal. You know we can speed through. Oh my God, they're up by 40 right now. Like they smoking them, bro. Smoking them, killed them. I know Draymond was probably talking crazy. Draymond has fair shit things to say about the jordan Poole incident this summer and then jordan Poole got involved his pops got involved and it was just it was a little nasty from there you know with a little back and forth on twitter between draymond and his pop so i know this game is going to be a little feisty in IRL. like one day it's going to be a lot of motions back and forth please excuse my notifications but you see it man steph curry 42 points seven rebounds six assists he went crazy 10 threes a wiggins went off clay went off cp3 almost with a triple double he did not stand that double double 19 and 10 what did draymond do Draymond, he just 
he just got four rebounds and three assists, which is valid. It is what it is. Let's see what Jordan Poole did. Jordan Poole didn't do nothing. Well, he did something, but nothing as what we would expect. So he only had 15 points in 30 minutes, 13 attempts. I don't know. I guess the, the jitters must have got the best of him. Uh, but that's it, man. We're going to simulate to the end of the season. Hopefully, with their team being more healthy, Darius Sarek is out right now. Hopefully, they can be able to pull off a comeback within the season because they're currently 12th in the conference. They're bouncing around from like 11th to 13th. So hopefully, they can put some wins together and bounce back. 15 and 17 is where they're currently at. They just got to win some games. They got to win the games that they got to win. You know what I'm saying? They got to make sure they win the games they have to win. So right now, they're currently on a four-game win streak. Could it be five? Will they get this dub against Detroit? Yes. Uh, but CPT gets hurt. Day-to-day, -day, Bruce Lee. Currently 18 and 17. So now, the Warriors are sitting eighth in the conference. So they're bouncing back. Like I said, they got plenty of time to bounce back. I mean, it just seemed like the injuries were getting the most of them. So now, as, as they have their team healthy, they're currently on a six-game win streak. It's pretty dope. Gay Payne the second goes out with a broken hand, but that's not stopping them. Nine game win streak. They lose after winning nine games in a row. They lose to the Memphis Grizzlies. So that's pretty good. They're six in the conference right now. They're doing well. They're doing pretty good. Andrew Wiggins sprained right finger. It looks like somebody's just always out. Look, Chris Paul out again. That's that's tough, man. So a six game win streak was put together before that was brought to an end by the Atlanta Hawks, but they're currently 30 and 19. 30 and 19 is what the Warriors are saying at. Again, this is the CP3 experiment. It's working so far. They're fifth in the conference. They're doing better than what they did last season, right? At this point, 31 and what? 19 is what? 31 and 20, right? Because they, they were struggling last year. They had their fair share of struggles, you know, because Steph Curry was out. So, you know, that affected them tremendously. But they're doing good. They're putting together numerous amount of win streaks. They're 34 and 23 right now. Fourth in the conference. So top four in the West. They're looking good. They're looking good right now. Klay Thompson is hurt. He suffered a twisted left knee. Currently, the Warriors are 40 and 27. Klay Thompson is back. Well, he's day to day now. Now he's fully healed. But 40 and 27, 40 and 28 right now with that next loss. Fifth is where it looks like the Warriors are going to finish. They're probably going to finish around like fourth or fifth. Um, They're losing quite a few games towards the end of the season right now. 44 and 34 is their record. Kojo with a pinched nerve in the back. He's going to miss six to eight weeks. He's going to miss, you know, probably a start of the playoff. But it looks like they secure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm sorry. That kind of just, that, that, that interrupted exactly what I was going to say. But as I say, it looks like the Warriors finished with the fifth spot in the West, which is pretty good. That's pretty good with the CPT experiment. That's dope because that's better than where they ended last season. But you see it right here. James Harden is the MVP this year. Victor Wimbiamba with the rookie of the year. Chris Paul with the sixth man of the year. CPT experiment working. You feel me? Man was given the six man position. He capitalized off of it. Average 15, 4 and 7. Shooting 47% from the field. 82 from the free throw line. 42 from the three, which is pretty good. Defensive player of the year goes to Giannis. Most improved player goes to Paul Reed. Devin Booker with the clutch player of the year. Coach of the year goes to Nick Nurse. And that is it for your NBA 2024 awards. Do we have anybody in any all NBA teams? Not even Steph? Not even Steph? That's crazy. Not even Steph. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got him in the third. Third all NBA team. All right. We got three guards in there. That's strange. Okay. I know where there's three guards there because they, I forgot they changed it. The new rule for the first, like for the all NBA teams. It's just basically whoever they believe are the top 15 players currently for that season in the league so we got steph on the all nba third team anybody in the defensive nah nobody in the defensive all right so let's go ahead we in the playoffs man matched up against the los angeles clippers that's a tough one right there but you're not in the playing tournament which is pretty good you always want to avoid the playing tournament so we're gonna go ahead and slim the playing tournament all right so that has been simulated it's time to start simulating through the first round let's go ahead game one goes to the clippers game two goes to the clippers they're up 2-0 all right game three sorry has fully healed all right game three and golden state goes to the warriors can we top the series yes we're going back to la with the series tied what happens in oh my god steph curry gets hurt pull lower back muscle one to two weeks it looks like he's gonna be out during that time that's tough man maybe cpt could step up and be big during that time i don't know but they got the w they got the w so they up three to two all right so let's go ahead and see what happens game six torn left hamstring for jonathan Kaminga. that's tough that's tough series tied game seven and the warriors are missing two of their key players i would like to assume jonathan Kaminga at this point is a key player so we're gonna simulate with simcast all right here we go this is for a chance not a chance this is for this is too advanced excuse me to the second round all right I man this is without steph curry without jonathan Kaminga. cp3 gonna have to step up cp3 clay draymond green they're gonna have to step up and it looks like they doing so this so far you feel me currently up by double digits 10 yeah double digits 11 13 15 right now 
Oh, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. 19 right now. Oh, they about to be up by 20 going into the second half. Okay, I see the, I see the Warriors. The Warriors is not trying to play around. They're trying to do this for Steph. You know, give him time to prepare himself to be ready for the second round, which it looks like they're going to be in. This is huge. I'm curious to see the box score once this game is over to see who did they think, who stepped up tremendously. It looks like the Clippers is kind of rallying back in it, though, slowly. Nah. Nah, nah, it's over. It's over. It's over. The Warriors are going to get this W. They're going to advance to the second round. You feel me? Klay Thompson, from what I see right there in the top left, finishes with 33 points. Chris Paul with 19, 9, and 5. 5 deals, that is. But A. Wiggins stepped up huge. Moody stepped up as well. That's a huge win. That's a huge win. That puts them in the second round. Has them waiting for their opponent between this series with Memphis and Dallas. Let's see who wins. Dallas pulls the upset on Memphis. Damn. So the, the Warriors. Warriors might have a chance to go to the conference finals with this matchup. I, I I would have the Warriors as the favorites, clearly. All right, 2K might have the Warriors going to the chip. Yo, that's what it's looking. All right, let's get to it, man. No more talking. Let's get to it. You feel me? You got a matchup right here against the Dallas Mavericks. We simulate game one. It goes to the Mavericks. Again, keep in mind, no Steph, no Jonathan Kaminga. 2-0. So you lose complete home court advantage to the Dallas Mavericks. Now we go to, oh my God, you're down 3-0. Nah, that's no good. That's what happens when you don't have uh, let me double check because he's still injured yes Steph Curry's still injured he's day-to-day -day right now with a pulled lower back muscle all right so we got a sim cast right here facing elimination this is tough man you're about to get swept Steph Curry was hurt um he still is hurt but he's playing this game he suited up and look how they started off eight to nothing eleven to nothing fourteen and nothing and then the Dallas Mavericks scored their first basket so look Steph Curry is back and look how it all changes right and he's still hurt but he's playing through the injury same thing goes for Kojo but it's game four you feel me you face an elimination potentially looking to get swept you know you gotta suit up you know if you can play you gotta suit up so and that's exactly what these two do and it is helping out so far you know up 16 going into the second half you know they, they're smoking them so maybe they can pull off what has never been done before which is having a team come back from a 3-0 deficit in the nba playoffs maybe they can make it happen i don't know you know what i'm saying um but look dallas is coming back dallas dallas said yo that that stuff curry stuff is cute and all but we about to sweep y'all man look luca and Kyrie said we about to sweep y'all man we trying to win this trip you feel me damn they smoking them now damn they smoking them now nah, it's over it's over 119 and 103 they smoked them i don't know what happened but something happened where just the gears just shift and they smoked them let's look at the box score real quick steph curry tried his best 26 points you know wasn't as efficient but he was injured a wiggins 27 points clay with 21 cp3 where you be bro one of seven like that's terrible in an elimination game you shoot one of seven you play 27 minutes and all you can put together is four points two rebounds five assists that is not pretty that is not good that is not good Jamon green did all right 11 5 and 8 luca probably snap here 40 13 and 10 that's his triple double right there and Kyrie with 32 like that's tough right there so there you have it 2k has the warriors i guess at this point getting knocked out in the second round getting swept at that by the dallas mavericks let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the playoffs see who they have winning the chip all right oh my god the mavericks go on to the nba finals that is crazy you see who they matched up against the Celtics who are actually the favorites to win the chip this year let's see what happens and they they go on to win the chip so there you have it man 2k has the Warriors season with Chris Paul ending in the second round with a sweep one thing we witnessed was that they experienced a lot of injuries throughout this season which is possible it was a lot of injuries surrounding Chris Paul this season in this simulation and then Steph Curry got injured in the playoffs which you know, Steph Curry has been injured at least, I think, like, what, two of the threes last season? You know, it's something to watch out for, too, as both of those players are getting old, right? Steph Curry, 35, CP3, 38. So that's something to consider, too. You know, will this team remain healthy to be able to put together a nice run? You see 2K has them struggling with health and then has them making it to the second round at most and getting swept to the Dash Mavericks. And then they have these boys right here in green getting the chip. So it was a cool first simulation video, man. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think of it, man. Would a second round exit what does that mean for the warriors if that does happen at our road does that mean that the cp3 experiment worked or did it fail and then also what y'all want to see next all right for the next rebuilding videos or simulation videos that we'll be doing here on 24 y'all let me know what y'all want to see so we can get busy with those but that's it for this one man make sure y'all go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out tremendously with the success of the channel and bring a better content to you all i'm um, just a reminder that i'm currently doing a giveaway right now giveaway details are posted up on our ig page so make sure you go ahead and follow us on ig link down below for our instagram so then that way you can have a chance and winning this 
current giveaway. All right, but that is it for this one, man. I'm going to holler at you on the next one. Turn on that post notification so y'all don't miss the next one. All right, but I'll see y'all then. Love.